one of the most prominent and advanced physicists has shared his opinion on this matter. Michio Kaku, renowned for his exceptional contributions to physics, has recently confirmed that the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered six massive galaxies that scientists previously thought could not exist. These findings have the potential to open up new dimensions in our understanding of the universe. The discovery is both exciting and revolutionary, challenging existing theories about the formation and evolution of galaxies. This makes it a critical development to monitor closely. Michio Kaku's endorsement of these discoveries adds significant weight to their importance. Kaku, an influential figure in the scientific community, is a physicist of both American and Japanese descent. He is widely regarded as an expert in both traditional experimental physics and quantum mechanics. Unlike some more conservative or skeptical scientists, Kaku has been receptive to the astonishing results of the James Webb Space Telescope mission. His ability to embrace new discoveries and present them to the public reflects his commitment to advancing our understanding of the universe. It is remarkable that such a distinguished scientist has chosen to break his silence and publicly share these groundbreaking findings. The excitement and almost playful tone in Kaku's comments about the telescope's discovery are clear, showing just how much the revelation has intrigued him. Let's explore the implications of Kaku's announcement about these six colossal galaxies. Kaku has long been open to considering new hypotheses throughout his career. He has demonstrated a willingness to entertain ideas that challenge conventional wisdom, recognizing that while Einstein's theory of relativity and Newton's laws are foundational, they do not fully capture the complexities of the universe. Kaku understands that the discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope have the potential to advance the scientific field, even though many of his peers have not been able to accept this view. This has stirred concern and unease among proponents of the Big Bang theory and critics of quantum mechanics. However, for Kaku, this only invites laughter. The James Webb Space Telescope has unveiled the existence of six massive galaxies dating back to the very early universe. Each of these galaxies contains more stars than our own Milky Way. Despite forming only a short time after the Big Bang, these galaxies are so vast that they challenge our understanding of cosmic evolution. The astronomers who made this discovery have named these extraordinary galaxies universe breakers, as they could potentially transform our entire understanding of the cosmos. If these findings are confirmed, they would suggest that the early universe was far more unique and complex than previously thought. This revelation shakes the foundation of current theories. The Big Bang theory holds that the universe was an incredibly chaotic state immediately after the initial event with the first solid objects taking millions of years to form. It took even more time for these objects to accumulate enough density to produce light. The formation of complex structures like galaxies was believed to occur much later in the universe's timeline. Yet, some of these newly discovered galaxies exceed the size of the Milky Way, and their immense brightness suggests they were likely forming new stars every year. In contrast, our galaxy forms stars at a much slower rate. This raises a question. When did the first galaxies truly form? Scientists have not yet determined this, and the only thing that's clear is that in the beginning, there may have only been isolated stars or small groups of stars that eventually merged into larger structures. This challenges the previous understanding that small galaxies developed first, merging with other systems over time to form larger structures. The existence of such highly coordinated and massive galaxies so early in the universe's history raises the possibility that the universe might be much older than previously thought, or that complex cosmic arrangements could have developed much sooner than expected. This idea is hard to accept for traditional science, which still struggles with aspects of this model. Some physicists are unwilling to accept the findings, questioning the accuracy of the age estimates. Kaku is well aware of this skepticism and has shared his thoughts on the matter. He points out that many outdated and false theories have persisted solely because of the influence of certain researchers. These theories were only debunked when key experiments revealed their flaws. He emphasizes the importance of continued experimentation and validation in science, stating that it is the work of experimentalists that keeps scholars on their toes. The origin of the universe as we know it is still a subject of uncertainty. Kaku's statement stresses the need for ongoing inquiry and validation in the scientific process. 
The Big Bang theory was established in 1927 based on observations of the universe's expansion, which led to the conclusion that the universe began as a singular point and has been expanding ever since. At the time, it was difficult for scientists to imagine a universe with a definite beginning and end. The idea of a universe that had always existed and was infinite was beyond the scope of their understanding. And even today, scientists continue to grapple with this concept. However, these new findings do not align with the long-held theories that have shaped our understanding of the universe for decades. Science, though, has repeatedly shown that reassessment and openness to new ideas are essential to progress. Just as the ideas of Einstein and others challenged established beliefs, the new revelations about the universe's early complexity challenge our understanding once again. When Einstein was a young man, it was believed that the stars and planets were fixed within the universe, each occupying a defined space. Today we know that everything in the universe is in motion. Planets orbit stars, stars move within their galaxies at incredible speeds, and entire galaxies race through space at astonishing velocities, with no clear prediction of their future trajectories. This dynamic understanding of the universe challenges long-held beliefs and highlights the necessity for continuous inquiry and evolution of scientific thought. Currently, scientists are being pushed to accept uncomfortable truths and acknowledge that theories are not absolute wisdom until they are thoroughly tested and confirmed through precise observation. The discovery of the six enormous galaxies could be one of those uncomfortable truths that reshapes our understanding of the universe's past. The idea that these galaxies existed so early, and with such complexity, challenges our previous notions about cosmic evolution. This could be one of the many cases in which science must evolve to incorporate new data and ideas, reshaping our understanding of the, the James Webb origins. Space Telescope, JWST, has provided crucial evidence that challenges fundamental assumptions about the universe's early years. With its extraordinary capabilities, the JWST has observed distant galaxies that defy conventional understanding. These galaxies, dating back to just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, are unexpectedly massive and luminous, suggesting a much more powerful early universe than previously imagined. These findings raise profound questions about the timeline and mechanisms behind galaxy formation, forcing researchers to reconsider existing models. For instance, the discovery of galaxies that were already highly developed so soon after the Big Bang challenges the idea that galaxy formation was a slow, gradual process spanning billions of years. Additionally, JWST's observations highlight the complexity of cosmic evolution, revealing that galaxies can grow rapidly and experience significant star formation early in their history. This new data forces astrophysicists to re-evaluate their hypotheses on the roles of stars, gas, and dark matter in shaping the first galaxies. Beyond altering our understanding of galaxies, these discoveries underscore the importance of technological advancements in pushing the boundaries of astrophysical research. By utilizing its infrared capabilities, the JWST enables scientists to peer deeper into space and further back in time than ever before. By studying the light emitted by distant galaxies, cosmologists can reconstruct the early conditions of the universe. A key tool in these studies is redshift, a phenomenon where light from distant celestial objects shifts to longer wavelengths as they move away from us. This cosmological redshift provides valuable information about an object's distance and velocity. By analyzing redshift data, researchers can determine the size, age, and developmental stage of galaxies observed by telescopes like the JWST. However, interpreting redshift measurements requires precise calibration and a thorough understanding of potential sources of error, such as gravitational lensing and instrumental limitations. In addition to studying individual galaxies, cosmologists are also investigating larger cosmic structures like galaxy clusters and superclusters. These vast assemblies of galaxies, bound together by gravity, offer insights into the distribution of matter on a cosmic scale. By mapping the spatial arrangement of galaxies and measuring their velocities, researchers can trace the cosmic web, the vast network of structures that spans the universe and defines the large-scale layout of galaxies. Another key source of data for cosmologists is the cosmic microwave background, CMB radiation, a faint glow left over from the Big Bang. As the universe expanded and cooled, 
The intense heat of its early stages gave way to radiation that cooled to just above absolute zero, leaving behind this ubiquitous background radiation. Detailed measurements of temperature fluctuations in the CMB reveal important information about the early universe, shedding light on the density variations that ultimately led to the formation of galaxies and large-scale structures. Satellite missions like the Planck Observatory have mapped the CMB with exceptional precision, confirming key predictions of the Big Bang theory while also revealing anomalies that challenge current cosmological models. One such anomaly is the presence of cold spots and unusually large voids in the CMB maps, suggesting unexpected patterns in the early universe's density distribution. These findings have sparked debates among cosmologists, leading to alternative theories like inflationary cosmology. This theory proposes that the universe underwent a brief period of rapid expansion in its earliest moments, which could explain some of these strange observations. The quest to understand the origins of cosmic structures extends beyond traditional astrophysical methods to include particle physics. Research conducted at high-energy colliders such as the Large Hadron Collider LHC, aims to recreate the extreme conditions of the early universe in order to test fundamental particles and forces. Theoretical frameworks like quantum gravity and string theory offer potential solutions for unifying our understanding of the universe's most basic laws, seeking to bridge the gap between Einstein's general relativity and quantum mechanics. Moreover, the search for dark matter and dark energy remains a central focus of cosmological research. Dark matter, which is believed to make up about 27% of the universe's total mass energy content, exerts a gravitational influence on galaxies and other cosmic structures, yet it emits no detectable electromagnetic radiation. Its elusive nature has driven numerous observational and theoretical efforts to identify the particles that make up dark matter and to understand its role in the evolution of the universe. Similarly, dark energy which accounts for roughly 68% of the universe's energy density, is responsible for the accelerating expansion of the universe observed in recent decades. Despite its significant impact on the cosmos, its origin and properties remain a mystery, raising fundamental questions about the ultimate fate of the universe and the forces that govern its evolution. The search for answers to these profound questions requires interdisciplinary collaboration and the integration of observational, theoretical, and experimental approaches. Astronomers, astrophysicists, cosmologists, and particle physicists work together to decode the vast cosmic story written in the light and structure of the universe. In conclusion, our exploration of the universe is an ongoing journey of discovery and redefinition, a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. From the early pioneers of cosmology to today's researchers using advanced space telescopes, each era adds new chapters to our understanding of the cosmos. As we continue to uncover the mysteries of galaxies, dark matter, and the cosmic microwave background, we move ever closer to understanding our place in the vast expanse of reality. Hubble's law, which proposed that the universe is expanding, has been supported for years by evidence such as cosmic microwave background radiation and the redshift of light from distant galaxies, among other cosmological observations. However, it's important to remember that in the past, people who believed the Earth was flat and that the Sun revolved around us also had evidence to support their views until new discoveries and advancements in technology provided a clearer, more accurate understanding of the world. We are currently experiencing a similar situation, where scientists anticipated that the new James Webb Space Telescope would confirm existing theories about the Big Bang, but instead, it uncovered six phenomena that seemed impossible. This highlights the ever-evolving nature of science, reminding us that researchers must remain open to new discoveries and reconsider well-established theories in light of new evidence. These unexpected findings challenge our current understanding and suggest the need for a reassessment of long-held cosmological models. One important tool scientists use in studying the universe is redshift, also known as the Doppler effect. Redshift refers to the change in the wavelength of light as light sources and observers move relative to each other. To understand this, imagine standing still and hearing the sound of a car engine grow louder as it approaches, then lower once the car passes you or moves away. The same principle applies to light. When a light source, such as a distant star, moves toward us, its light shifts to shorter wavelengths, bluer. Conversely, when the source moves away, the light shifts to longer wavelengths. Redder. This phenomenon is known as redshift. 
physicists have converted redshift values into speed and distance measurements to study the universe. However, it's important to note that small errors in these calculations can have significant consequences. The measurement methods previously used are currently under review, and it will be interesting to see what new findings emerge from the latest observations. It's crucial to consider whether these discrepancies are due to redshift measurement errors, or whether some researchers are simply rejecting the evidence. This question calls for careful investigation and scrutiny of the data and methods used in current research. The ongoing re-evaluation of measurement techniques highlights the dynamic nature of scientific inquiry. The study of our universe, with its vast scale and complex celestial bodies, continues to captivate and challenge scientists worldwide. From early theories about the universe's origins to the latest discoveries enabled by cutting-edge technology, each revelation reshapes our understanding of the cosmos and pushes the boundaries of human knowledge. One of the most important and enduring questions in cosmology concerns the origin and evolution of galaxies, vast cities of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter bound together by gravity. Understanding how galaxies form and evolve is crucial not only for unraveling the mysteries of our universe but also for testing existing theories, such as the Big Bang Theory. Proposed nearly 100 years ago, the Big Bang Theory posits that the universe began from an infinitely dense point and has been expanding ever since. This idea arose from observations of the universe's expansion and the cosmic microwave background radiation, considered the remnants of the universe's early heat and light. However, recent discoveries, particularly those made by the James Webb Space Telescope, are challenging some of these long-held assumptions.